90% water. So my pumpkin here could have 90% water. It's been sitting on my porch, so I think it may have a, a little less water now. But um, pumpkins are in the same family as squash. And one of the largest pumpkins ever grown weighed 1,337 pounds. I was shocked. I've never thought of a pumpkin being that big. And get this, I bet you're not going to have this kind of Thanksgiving pie. The largest pumpkin pie ever made was over five feet in diameter. Whoa, I could not even imagine that. It could weigh over 350 pounds. It used 80 pounds of cooked pumpkin and it took six hours to bake that pumpkin pie. Pumpkins originated in North America. Native Americans used pumpkins as a staple in their diet long before the pilgrims came to America. In early colonial times, pumpkins were used as an ingredient for the crust of the pie, not for the filling. And Native Americans and colonists sliced off the pumpkin top and removed the seeds and filled the inside with milk, spices, and honey and they baked them in hot ash, and that was the origin of our pumpkin pie. Also, pumpkin seeds can be roasted as a snack, and pumpkins contain potassium and vitamin A, and the pumpkin flowers are actually edible. So if you want to try out a pumpkin flower next summer, you might be able to do that. And here's where the personal ministries part comes in. What can pumpkins teach us spiritually? Well, if a pumpkin is to grow, it needs to be connected to the pumpkin vine. Those beautiful leaves and roots all work together to bring life to the plant. Jesus wants you to have the right connections, too. You may have heard it many times, but it's still beautiful. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. John 15, 5. And we also just heard that the pumpkin is a fruit. And it can be a pretty large one at that. Fruit is often wanted because it is delicious and attractive. Which reminds me, isn't God wanting us to grow some delicious, attractive fruit in our lives? Things like consideration and thoughtfulness tranquility, endurance, honesty, tenderness and carefulness, encouragement and joyfulness. And I'm just wondering if a pumpkin can grow to a thousand pounds, I wonder how big God can grow us. But what if you were to be found having a heart full of a thousand pounds of joy or kindness? Wouldn't that be wonderful? I would love that. Another pumpkin fact is that pumpkins are 90% water. They must drink up a lot of water through the soil, especially that one that weighed 1,000 pounds. We are invited to drink from Jesus. Listen to the shocking words of Jesus when speaking with the woman at the well. Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4, 13 and 14. When we drink of the water Jesus gives us, we grow up, we spring up, we liven up with something that doesn't just help us to grow big fruit. This water springs up into life forever and ever and ever. Mrs. White writes in the faith that I live by, He who tastes of the love of Christ will continually long for more, but he seeks for nothing else. The riches, the honor, and pleasures of the world do not attract him. The constant cry of his heart is, More of thee. And he who reveals to the soul its necessity is waiting to satisfy its hunger and thirst. Every human resource and dependence will fail. The cisterns will be empty, the pools become dry, but our Redeemer is an inexhaustible fountain. We may drink and drink again and ever find a fresh supply. He in whom Christ dwells has within himself the fountain of blessing, a well of water springing up into everlasting life. 
from this source he may draw strength and grace sufficient for all his needs. He who drinks of the living water becomes a fountain of life. The receiver becomes a giver. And the grace of Christ in his soul is like a spring in the desert, welling up fresh to refresh all and making those who are ready to perish eager to drink the water of life. So, when you guys take a bite of pumpkin pie this week, I hope you won't forget what we learned about growing from the humble pumpkin. Number one, stay connected to Jesus. Number two, let him grow your personality into a beautiful, fruitful one. And number three, let him give you the water of his eternal life. May God bless you. Let's have a little prayer, and then we'll proceed. Father in heaven, thank you so much that you have made an abundant world full of amazing things. We love to learn about your world. And as we thought about the pumpkin, Lord, we saw some things that reminded us of spiritual truths. Please come and send your spirit into us. Help us each one to be connected to you every day. And help that connection to allow us to have your spirit within us. And um, Lord, we just ask that you put your life in us, that we may be a, a fountain of life to those around us. And we humbly ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.